Okay. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out which, which is starting, which is centering. Okay, they're starting. Okay. That's what I just said, uh, <coughs> All right. So, you know, because our school has a really good tradition for doing micro mouse since the year 2000. And, uh, you know, and I kept, just kept winning the top three prizes most of the time. So, I, I really wish you guys have a good chance to. Learn, uh, learn what you what you were expecting at the beginning of the year, and not just for learning, also have some achievements. You know, have like winning something from a competition to put on your resume. That's really cool. All right. By the way, this is a, this is my design micro mouse. So uh, it's actually not the mouse I used last year, and uh, you know, because my mouse won the first place last year, and this is the the new one I designed this over summer, and uh, for, uh, with. <laughs> With, with really general help from IEEE, I, I was be able to get early funding. So and have some equipment at home. So I just got parts during the summer and, <coughs> and assembled it. Sorry. And I uh, have a small maze at home too. So I was be able to test it and make it work. So, yeah. <coughs> um, so here is a as you can see, these are five cells by five cells maze. <laughs> as what Danny explained, that's uh, like this. <coughs> it's like yeah. So for my mouse, for the algorithm I'm putting there, the mouse think it's a nine by nine maze. And since the, 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 the goal, the target, is always at the physical center of the entire maze. Okay, imagine this is a nine cells by nine cells maze. And you know, mouse always starting here. And the, the cell at that corner should be the target. So this is where mouse should start it. <laughs> and uh, that's where your mouse should stop. So, well, what mouse know is only uh, the mouse only know uh, the mouse starts here, and uh, basically, other than the walls on the boundary, the mouse doesn't know anything else. So what so what we need to do is just writing uh, write a searching algorithm to search at as last cells as possible to reach the center. All right, so I'll make a demo for searching. So I have a. Tiny screen here, so I can just like have okay. some different functionalities. This is a professional mouse, you don't actually have a view. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. to clarify, at the actual competition, you can't reprogram in between runs. So, what Green just did was he had different programs on his menu and he used. I wheel yeah, it's not allowed, but what I can actually do here is just like changing speed or something. This is allowed, but if you're trying to re like, like download different kind of new code in order to Sort of like like for for instance you, you can like you, like if you saw the maze uh, was revealed and trying to manually input your maze to the mouse before the mouse run it will be you you guys will be disqualified so you should you guys don't don't even try to think of that all right so I'm starting to search uh, oh okay I'm trying to use a uh, the 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 simplest movement which is called the pivot turn to Make a search. All right, we're starting. So see a dead end, then come back. <coughs> so it's returning. <coughs> Actually, the mouse is also searching if it, this, there's an even better, uh, better path on the way back. And uh, because this maze is <coughs> small, pretty much what, what, what you would explore on the way to the center is pretty much what, what you got on the way back. So, okay, at this moment, my mouse has have already have the maze information, those wall information stored inside of the, uh, the memory. So, what, so the next step for the mouse is, since the mouse knows the information already, is trying to go as fast as possible to go through the center. So, so the next time you see the mouse will just go direct to center without like go over these cells again. <coughs> of course I have to come back. <coughs> Alright, so I think this uh, if you guys just like uh, like I think for average level, <coughs> if you guys can successfully finish your mouse and uh, just make sure mouse explore center. This this kind of speed and like like the, like pivot turn action is pretty much what you guys gonna do. And uh, for the uh, according to my experience for the past couple of years, uh, it's I think it's good enough to get like like 
one of the top three places in the competition. So, and uh, and for those who would like to spend even more time to uh, to like to like to invest your time to put a, a little bit advanced hardware, then your mouse will be able to do a curve like continuous curve turn search. So this is what I'm trying to show. So um, my mouse start, starting over, but erased all the memory uh, I restored before. So it's like fresh, fresh research. So uh, the difference is the mouse will go like, once, once the mouse wants to turn from here to here, it won't stop here, then make pivot turn. It will just like make it like 90 degrees smooth turn instead. <laughs> well, in this case, your the the uh, the movement for your speed run is also uh, will be also based on the curve turn. So it will go straight up here by using curve turn, and the speed is much faster. Uh, and on some straight, uh, there's there isn't any really long straight away. So if there's a really long one, the mouse can actually accelerate really, really fast, then like decelerate before it turns. All right. <laughs> And uh, this is not everything, okay? Because you know, because micro mouse is so so popular in the world, that's why there's always some really pro professional level micro mouse competition in, in the world. And uh, in order to make the mouse go speed run even faster, they figure out a way to, like you know, for instance, if your mouse want to go here to here, so the mouse instead of like making 90 degree turns like alternatively, it just like goes go across the diagonal, like like just like. Just like by uh, just cross the diagonal directly from here to here to save even more time. So that's what I'm trying to make. And uh, and if you guys, I think if it, any of you are have interest to keep doing this for the second year, you guys can do it because we have the source, we have information, you know, experience uh, inherited from pre previous years, probably which other school don't have. Okay. <coughs> Okay. Okay, try to make slow one first. You see mouse go cross diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. <coughs> so yeah, I'm gonna make even faster one. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is how those people in the professional pro professional level can win the competition. So, because for their level, everyone pretty much can finish the search. They have no problem for searching the maze. So, and everyone are running really fast. So the uh, the key to determine who's gonna first place is is pretty much only like who turns faster, who accelerate even harder on the straightaway. And uh, this is the this I think this is the most amazing part. You know, because everyone's getting so close, and you just can't get first place. And uh, yeah, yep. And our like in a you know, cause, uh, cause uh, I think the, they <coughs> forgot to mention uh, that this this competition is also uh, very popular in the European countries, and uh, and uh, they have they, like UK is hosting competition every year, and you, and also Poland because I know someone's playing there, um, and uh, <coughs> and pretty much these two countries. Um, and also in, in the United States, as those three competitions they mentioned, in which is the first one's uh, all American micro micro mouse competition hosting as, at, at our own school, is is uh, UC, the one had at UCSD. And uh, since our uh, LA is belong to Southern Area region of IEEE uh, Region Six, that's why we go go region, uh, region regional competition over there. And uh, there there are also some other competitions in the in the North Cal called <laughs> Robo Games. It hosts every April. And uh, and uh, yeah, and some competitions, regional competition to the East Coast, and because Micro Mouse is also very popular in the East Coast, and uh, you know, because if you're just trying to do your research online, probably you can find some other friends, other people from other school who are also doing Micro Mouse. You might have a chance to just like talk to each other, you know, share your your ex uh, experience. And also, uh, since I'm a big fan of, of Micro Mouse. I've been doing this like for three years, and this is the beginning of the fourth year I'm doing. That's why I'm getting better and better. You know, it, this is some, really something 
that worth you to invest time and keep doing on it because you'll never reach the end. And that's why I host my own uh, old website called micromouseusa.com. I, I occasionally write some articles about like, like, like you know, some, something how to help you uh, build a proper uh, uh, micromouse. And uh, I also have a forum on it. So just in case if you guys, anyone really like micromouse, micro go, there, go there and ask me questions. So I, 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 I will have pretty fast response. Uh, so, okay, I'm done with my explanation, and uh, just in case anyone have any specific questions. No? You guys are... If, if anyone has questions, you can <coughs> email us. Um, we'll, we'll all be available in the lab as well, usually. So, um, yeah, I mean, are there stoning cookies in the back? Are there stoning cookies in the back? <laughs> yeah, if there are, you guys can take, finish them up. Uh,